Why all high paying companies ask data structures and algorithms? What is the logic behind it? Do you really need to learn DSA? What are the benefits you will get if you learn DSA? We will get all these clarities in this video. To understand this better, we have to understand first how any IT system works. Be it uh, browsing an e-commerce website, watching a YouTube channel or browsing anything on internet. It is storing data, traversing data and processing data. Nowadays, no one has patience. No one wants slow social media. No one wants a slow e-commerce website or anything on the internet. And it will cause huge business loss to these companies if these services are delayed by a few milliseconds. The data says an 100 millisecond latency in Amazon cause 1% drop in sales. One second delay in Amazon cause $1.6 billion loss in sales. Half a second delay in Google caused 20% low traffic. Not everything can be solved by data structures and algorithms which we call as DSA in this video. Not everything can be solved by DSA alone. But DSA deals with storing data, reversing data, processing data. So that's the reason these companies focus a lot in data structures and algorithms while interviewing. In one of the video I have talked about coding, data structures, algorithms, design patterns, system design together makes a scalable and efficient IT system. And out of these, only few of them are included in a BTEC curriculum, which is coding and data structures and algorithms. So DSA is an important building block in design pattern and system design. And companies understand that if someone is skilled in DSA, they can be easily trained or they can easily contribute in other aspect like uh, design pattern and system design. So the two points that we have uh, seen so far, we learned that from the company perspective, how DSA is beneficial for their products. So now in next points, we are going to cover like how from the personal perspective, why DSA is important. So DSA skills help companies assess candidate in multiple aspects. The aspects being understanding the problem, the breaking the problem into smaller pieces modular thinking, scalability, and sometimes like if you are having a good listening skill that your interviewer is like giving you a hint, are you able to take that hint and implement in the solution? And these are the skills or DSA which can't be learned overnight. So it gives a soft signal to a company that if somebody is good in DSA, then he or she has done his homework and he's the serious candidate. So there's a hidden point here that many times in the interviews, interviewer don't actually want a straightforward solution. They actually want like how you approach a problem or if you're not able to solve the problem and if they provide the hint, are you able to get the hint also or not? The next point is like DSA gives a common ground for all candidates. There are multiple language, multiple technologies, people work around, but what is the common ground to evaluate any candidate? And that is where DSA comes in the picture. At the end, we want to solve problems, right? Through different programming language or using different, different technologies. Okay, so DSA gives a common ground that, okay, if somebody is good in DSA skills, then he's okay to learn any of the technology or any of the programming skill, but he has good problem solving skills. One more point I want to cover here is like, DSA is not a skill just for your interview or for any kind of selection process. As a skill, this will be reflected in your day-to-day -day work of your IT career, how you approach a problem, how you, how you solve a problem, like the different line of code you write. In every line of those, like your skill will be reflected. Indeed, DSA is a very important skill, but in many interviews, I have seen a wrong pattern that the candidates are very good in DSA. They are very good in DSA and they are super awesome in it. But the other skills of computer science like operating system, database management system, front-end technologies or any other related like computer networks, like they are not even average there. So that is a wrong pattern. So DSA is an important skill indeed, but the other aspect of computer science is also important. So don't learn DSA just a tool to crack interviews or to be selected in some companies. Use it as a skill which is going to help you in overall IT career. Is DSA 100% right method to assess any candidate? No. 
many times like even if you are good in data structures and algorithm also people are not able to solve the problem and it's quite natural nobody can solve every problem even if you if they are very good in data structures algorithms also so keep trying is it mandatory to have a dsa knowledge to make a successful career in it no there are many profiles in it career where you require very really minimal use of data structures and algorithms or even no use at all of dsa skill but with that said dsa is a core of computer science itself so my suggestion will be if you don't want to be pro in that subject that should be totally fine but you should have uh, average knowledge in data structures and algorithms and i'm going to create few videos on this topic because this topic is little complex to understand that how to like learn data structures and algorithms in the right manner and in a more interesting form thank you